The packaging for Everflow's Double Whiskey Poham is actually pretty nice. It sort of has a vintage 1970s French hotel sort of vibe to it, and I kind of like that about it. The cardboard on the other hand is definitely on the cheap and flimsy side of things. It doesn't feel luxurious at all. But what do you expect from a $10 to $15 bottle of fragrance, right? The plastic wrapping came off almost a little too easily. Upon opening the box and looking at the bottle inside, I'm a little surprised that the quality of the glass that's been used, although the cap does feel cheap and flimsy as well. The slightly frosted glass doesn't look terrible, but overall the bottle does look cheap. The cap is awful. Everflow's Double Whiskey is a budget fragrance with a bite. And by that I mean, for the price you're paying, it's actually really good. Judging by the smell of Double Whiskey, I would say it came out in the mid-1990s. I would be very surprised if it came out any later than that. It doesn't smell nearly as cheap as you would imagine. For the $10 to $15 that it costs, it's really going to stand out in your collection. It's got a warmth and a tobacco note that I think will appeal to a lot of gentlemen. Although it wears significantly older than it does younger. So if you're over the age of 30, I think this is a great option for you for the colder months. But as for younger gentlemen and spring and summer wear, this isn't going to be for you. In terms of comparisons, this is going to be compared most heavily to Burberry Brit for men. That tobacco note is front and center in this, just like it is with the Burberry fragrance. Another one this is going to be reminiscent of is Calvin Klein Shock. They both share a heavy tobacco note. Although, in terms of which one I would recommend more, I think I would go with Calvin Klein Shock. However, for $10 to $15, this is still hard to beat. In Australia, this goes for about $45 to $50 for 200 ml. The opening for Double Whiskey is quite harsh, but if you give it five or so minutes to settle on your skin, what you're going to find is an incredibly rich and inviting scent and it's in the heart and the dry down that I would compare it most to Burberry Brit for Men. All this time I've been saying Burberry Brit for Men and I meant Burberry London for Men. The one in the, the brown check bottle. You know the one that I'm talking about. The thing I like most about fragrances like this, especially when they're pretty cheap, is that they make really good gifts for family members that you know like more expensive fragrances but you know you might not necessarily be so close to them that you would spend 50, 100, 150 dollars a bottle for them for a birthday or Christmas or whatever. So that's where a fragrance like this comes into play. Everflow make a lot of different fragrances like this in the whiskey line that I wouldn't call them clones of other fragrances but they will remind you pretty heavily of other fragrances. Double Whiskey is going to benefit from cold weather and a nice hot fireplace. That's where I think this one is going to shine especially. Wearing it, you get the sense that a grandfather would love a fragrance like this. It's warm, it's inviting, just like a hug from your grandfather. I wouldn't exactly call it a compliment beast though. Uh, I wore this one day and my partner didn't particularly like it. But that could have just been my skin chemistry or it could have been the fact that it was a pretty warm summer's day. So use caution when wearing this and make sure your partner likes these sorts of fragrances. Have you ever worn double whiskey before? If so, let me know in the comments below. So until my next video, this is Ozzy Marcel and I'll catch you next time.